Guys, if you manage to sound and if you're watching this video, you're probably done exactly what I have done with my 3x3 Rubik's Cube. You probably mixed it up. And you're just looking online and you want to learn how to solve it. Not figuring out yourself. I get to understand that totally. I did not learn this by myself. I had help from other people uh, in solving this cube. So, I want to teach you the beginner's method of solving the cube, which is putting in the cross, the corners, Solving the middle layer. Well, you have to put these in the right spots, in the corners in the right spots. Solving the middle layer. Uh, putting the bottom cross in. Doing PLs. Permeating the corners, which is. No. OLs. Orientating the corners. And then PLL. Permeating the corners. And then a, uh, an edge oh, an edge PLL. So that's how I'm going to do it. So first, we put in the cross. Now, this is all going to be an intuitive thing. Oh. Before we do that, you must learn the notations. So the notations for the cube are left, right, back, up, down, front. Yeah, that's how it goes. So, uh, counterclockwise would be inverted, which is the face was facing you, inverted, which is counterclockwise. So if back was facing you, this is counterclockwise, which means it's going to turn this way. If down was facing you, counterclockwise, right, and so on and so forth. So, using that, those analogies, you'll pick up the the algorithms much quicker. So, putting in the cross, or you can just look at how I do it. That's another way to do it. So, putting in the cross, it's really easy and simple and intuitive. So, this is what you do. You can pull pieces like this up there, right? And you want to put them in their correct spot. So, here's a blue-white piece, and I'm solving white. So, I pull it up. Now, I have it paired up with white. And now, I put it with this matching color, right? Here I have red, and red's already matched up with that. I can pull that up. That was easy. Here we have an orange white. Now to get this up there, rotate this like this, and we pull it up there. But we don't want to put it beside the red because orange is across from red. So we want to rotate this over and put it across from red like that, and then we can rotate it back. It's the same with orange, uh, green. Here, green doesn't go right here, so it goes across in blue, and then we put it like that. So most of that's intuitive. You can watch this video and just. Just figure it out yourself. If one's already down all the way at the bottom, you just like that. Right, so putting in the corners. Putting in the corners is really simple to do. It only involves using the left uh, up sometimes. Actually, you shouldn't use up at all. Left, right, and down. That's all you need to use. So here we have, okay, so we need to find corner. So we have a white, blue, orange. Then you find a white, blue, orange piece. Here's the corner right here. So putting it in right here, we can put that in right there. But it kicks out our, it kicks out our cross. We don't want to kick out the cross. So we're going to move this out of the way, right this way. Pull the cross piece down and pair it with the cross piece, and then we can pull it back up. Luckily, this is already in place, so we don't have to worry about that. So this one, a white, green, red. Here's the white, green, red in this corner. To get this out of there. We do the same exact thing, the same, same thing we did to put that corner in, except we're taking it out. So we do that. Instead of moving it to the left, we're going to move it to the right, so it pulls up under it. And then we can put that in there, like that. Too fast? Okay, so move it over, move that down, over, and up. And bottom like this, you put it under where it goes, pull the cross piece down, rotate that twice, pull it up, Rotate that over there. You can either do it this way, which puts something like that, or you can do it that way. Well, you can figure this out by yourself. I don't feel like I don't feel like teaching more of this, so we're gonna move on to the middle layer. With the middle layer, you're gonna use two algorithms: one to the left and one to the right. So you find basically you don't, you forget about the top face. You already solved that in the layer. So you look at the the other four faces. So here I have orange and green. So I want to find an orange and green edge piece. Here's an orange and green edge piece. Now I want to put it under the color that matches up. Now in this case, green matches up. Instead of or orange is on bottom and orange right there. So this piece is going to go to the left. Just remember that. It's going to go in this spot so that's to the left. Now what we want to do is we want to push this to the right. Now if you push this to the right, once you push it to the right, you do left, down, left inverted, down inverted, front inverted, down, 
inverted front. And that puts that piece in. Now let's look for green red piece. Oh, it's already it's in another place. So we can use that same algorithm to pull it out. This time I'm gonna do it right so I can show you the right one. So with the right one you move it to the left. Let's say I'm putting this piece there, so let's pretend that's a blue. I move it to the left. And we do right inverted, down inverted, right, down, front, down, front inverted. And that puts it there. So now we have red, green, and that will go to the right. So you put it to the left, at the matching up with its the color that matches up, and we do right inverted, down inverted, right, down, front, down inverted, front inverted, not down inverted, down. And that's that. Uh, there are cases you can just figure out, like this one. Uh, I don't feel like explaining this, but it's just a. It's just that, but. A sense of just learning at the beginning, we're just gonna do the beginner's method the way the beginner's method is done. So this is going to the right, so we do right inverted, down inverted, right, down, front, down, front inverted. And this is going to the right again, right, right down, right down, front, oh gosh, front down, front inverted. Right. Now we are going to move in to the bottom face. So flip your cube over after you do the top face, first layer, and second layer. And now we're going to put the cross in. Now we got lucky on this. We have the cross in place. But I don't do luck, so I'm not going to put the cross in place. So here's one case. This is called, this is what I call the L case. Now, an L is like this, but granted, we're going to do backwards L case. Now, we put it backwards, and you do this simple algorithm. It goes like this. Front, up, up, up once, not twice. Up, right, up inverted, right inverted, front inverted. And that makes you the cross. Now, next case, we have the line case. From the line case, you do a bit different than you did before, and we do front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. And the last case, the last case that we have is the dot. Don't mind the corner pieces in place, right, because, you know, you don't have to care about those at the moment. Uh, so what you do here is either one of the algorithms. I usually do the L case, but I'm going to do the backwards. I'm going to do the line case because the line case suits. See, line makes the L. The L makes the line. Yeah. For speed keeping, you know, the L case would be better. And then you do the L case. And now we're going to put in the corner. We're going to orient the corners. Now, you want to look for cases like this. Two facing the same way of the bottom face. Uh, yeah, just that. And if you have one, just one in to the left. But two facing the same way, you put it to the left, and you do this simple algorithm called the roar. That's what I call it. I don't know what uh, the correct term for it is. So you do right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, to right inverted. <laughs> Too fast. Right, up. Right inverted, up, right, up to right inverted. Uh, that's done. Okay, okay. And once, once you do that, uh, sorry, I haven't said that. You should have this two by two. You want to get that two by two. That's your goal to get this two by two. Now, if you have this two by two in this piece right here, you want this piece right there, and you put the two by two like this. But if this piece right here isn't facing you, put the corresponding curve on the top. If it's like, if it's like this, it's not facing you, but it's facing you right. You want to put it to your back. You want to put it in the top right, and you want to do the reverse of the same algorithm. So right, up two, right inverted, up, right up, inverted, right, inverted. But that's just the reverse of it. Uh, now, if you have it like this, where it's right, you put it in the bottom left, and you do the correct algorithm, the forward version of the algorithm, which is right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, to, right inverted. 
and I thought the cube was solved for a second. And <laughs> skip everything else. Okay. So now we have the corners in place. Next thing you want to look for is matching up pairs of corners. So here's a matching up pair. Don't mind the center. We're not going to worry about those yet. So here's a matching pair of reds. We don't have to put it with the reds. We just need to take it and put it to the back. Now this algorithm is a bit longer, and this is how I do it. I do it just like this. Okay. I do it with the bottom face facing me instead of the, the top face facing up and the, yeah, it facing down. I do it like this. So, we do this. Right, up, right, and in, right inverted, up, right inverted, down to, right, up, inverted, right inverted, down to, right to. And that does that. Now, if you have no corner in place, uh, like I don't have here, if you have no corner, no corner pairs, you just do it anywhere. And you should have one to your left. Put that to your back, and you do. Right inverted up, right inverted down to right, up inverted, uh, right inverted, down to right two. And that permutes all the corner pieces. Now, you want to match the corner pieces up with their corners. With their sort of color, not corners, color. And I look around, okay, so here we have the last algorithm. This is called the L algorithm. I call it, I call it, uh, the, uh, the flur. That's what I call it. The flur. So what you're going to do is, this red piece, this red yellow piece, needs to get there. So it's going to go to the left. So what we're going to do is this simple algorithm. We're going to do up to, and we move that to the left. We, uh, not up to. Uh, front to, and we move up to the left, because that's where it's going to go. We can do uh, right inverted, left, Front two, right, left inverted, up, front two, and the cube solved. Now, uh, given that that's the case to the left, let's go to the right. So this orange piece needs to go to the right. So we just move up to the right this time. So front two, move up to the right, right, left inverted, uh, right inverted, left, up, uh, front two. Right, left, front, up, uh, uh, front two, yeah. And then you should have the cube solved. And that's the gist of solving the 3 by 3 Goodbye, guys. Hope you understand it. So, see you next time.